The question I get asked the most after attaining 100,000 at the age of 27 years old is where am I allocating all of these funds? In today's video, I'm going to share with you and reveal to you entirely where am I keeping all of these funds and the reasons behind it why hopefully you can take away something and also do the same in order to optimize the cash that you have. Let's dive straight into today's video. Let's go. As the saying goes, don't keep all of your eggs into one basket. I don't want to be overly conservative. Keep all of the cash that I have into a bank savings account. Neither do I want to take on all the risks and invest all of the money I have and be subjected to the market fluctuations. I've segregated all of my 100,000 into three segments. Number one, emergency funds where this goes into the bank savings account or some of the safer investments like T-bills, SSBs. There is also the funds to be deployed of which they are either kept in money market funds or cash savings account that gives me a higher interest rate. Number three is my investments portfolio of which they are on Mumu, Trade, and also DBS Vickers. So we'll break down all of the numbers right now, starting off with emergency funds. When it comes to emergency funds, you really should be looking at keeping three to six months of either your income or your expenses as emergency funds. This is meant for rainy days. Should anything happen, it should be readily available for you to draw down on it. I do have an emergency funds guide. I'll link it up above and also down in the description box below, available for free. A way of giving back to you guys to share a bit more about the importance of having an emergency funds. So how I've allocated my emergency funds, I'm keeping six months of my previous job income as emergency funds even more so it's important now because I'm self-employed I'm not relying on an income that comes in monthly and this is how I've allocated my emergency funds I have some in cash of which I have it here overseas because anytime anything happens I do want to have some cash readily available for me in SGD and in addition to that I'm also maintaining the HSBC everyday global savings account 2000 is the minimum balance that I need to have in order to not be subjected to the $5 fee if I fall below that minimum sum. This will allow me to earn 1% cashback when I pay for my insurance premiums and also my credit card bills. This gives me 1% cashback. I'm also keeping some in GXS Bank because they give 2.68%. I'm not going with Yobi One because I can't hit the minimum spending on a credit card right now when I'm here in South Korea. This is the account that I was using previously, but right now because in the month of October, I will not be able to hit the minimum spending. I've kept it in GXS Bank. In November, I'll be shifting it back to Yobi One Savings account because I'll be paying for a rental payment using my Yobi Ladies card. That will allow me to hit the requirements over there. Roughly about one third of my emergency funds are kept into liquid bank savings account. Anytime I want to withdraw, I can. The rest of it, I've kept it into SSB and also T-bills. The T-bill is actually maturing this month in October, of which I need to think of where should I be allocating it next. SSBs, I've locked in the rates at roughly 3 over percent, which is very attractive because it's for a 10-year duration. I don't need everything to be in liquid cash because I technically won't need 20000 upfront touch wood, I hope nothing happens, but should anything happen, I don't think I'll need that sum right away, which is why I've allocated it into SSBs, T-bills, and the most basic, which is bank savings account that can be readily accessible for me should I need it. And that is how I've allocated my emergency funds. The next will be idle cash or rather funds ready to be deployed. Let's go into that. The second segment is this category called funds to be deployed. It is above and beyond the emergency funds where it could be for house down payment or an investment that I want to go into but now is just not the right time. So I still want to be able to earn some interest on this of which I've kept it into the SGD Fullerton Cash Fund offered on Mumu's Singapore platform. This is a promotion that they're currently offering new and existing users. 5.8% per annum interest for the first 30 days when you place a maximum deposit of $80,000. For new users, anywhere above one cent. For existing users, a minimum sum of $30,000. And this fund will offer me daily interest. In addition to that, there is also the flexibility of anytime I need that money, I can redeem it and also invest into the stock market immediately. So this is what I love about the Momo's SGD Fullerton Cash Fund, the flexibility and also the guaranteed 5.8% per annum interest for the first 30 days. For new users, I do have a sign up link down in the description box below where they are offering you up to 7 $750 SGD in sign up rewards. This is how it works for the $750 sign up rewards. All you need to do is to just sign up with the link down in the description box below and you'll be getting $20, $2 daily for the next 10 days when you make a deposit.
deposit of $100. And in addition to that, subscribe one time into the USD Money Market Fund or the SGD Fullerton Cash Fund. Thereafter, there is also the deposit $3,000 tier, cumulatively reach that amount. So once you deposit $100 already, the next one, you just need to deposit $2,900. Make three buy trades. Of this buy trade, you can subscribe into the SGD Fullerton Cash Fund three times. They'll be giving you three Tesla fractional shares, each worth USD $20. That's a total of USD $60. And thereafter, cumulatively reach a deposit of $10,000. Subscribe into the fund 10 times, break up the sum, subscribe 10 times, and you'll be receiving 10 Tesla fractional shares, each worth USD $20. So that's a total of USD $200. And for the 5.8% per annum interest for the first 30 days, you can either deposit into the SGD Fullerton Cash Fund or the USD Money Market Fund. This fund will provide you with daily interest. After the end of the 30 days, within 7 working days, Momo will top up the difference to make that return 5.8% per annum interest for the first 30 days. So this promotion, the interest is for new and also existing users. Existing users, the minimum sum is $30,000. For new users, minimum anywhere above one cent, maximum $80,000. So this is where I've placed my $30,000 for funds ready to be deployed into the stock market. So as of now, I don't really have a plan to buy a house and that is why I'm looking into investments only. I'm still in the research phase in terms of property, of which if you're interested, subscribe and follow along. I'll share more in subsequent videos when I have a concrete plan. Next up, let's go into the investments portfolio. What have I invested into and how much have I invested into the stock market? Let's go into that. For investments, I do have it segregated into the different instruments as well because I want to create a diversified portfolio. I don't want to hold all my eggs into one basket. Investing into one index fund or one individual stock with the price fluctuations in the market every day, my heart will probably fluctuate with it also. And that is why I created a diversified portfolio investing into bonds, real estate investment trusts, index funds, and also Singapore banks. So this is what my entire portfolio makes up of. For bonds, if you want to know my journey, how I got started investing into Singapore bonds. You can refer to this video that I've done on how my journey has been, how I got started, and also how you can start your investment journey into the Singapore bonds as well. I'll link that video up above and also down in the description box below. My bonds portfolio makes up of four Singapore bonds, Fraser Green Bond, Thermasic Bond, and also two Astra bonds. They offer coupon payments that pays out semi-annually, meaning every six months, and the range of interest that I'm getting is between 2.7% and also 4.49%. Thermasic bond that I'm currently holding matures in October this year, which is coming up soon. So I need to think about how I need to reinvest this amount as well. The Thermasic bonds previously back then at 2.7% is pretty high as compared to what the bank interest rate was offering at 1 over percent. At that point in time, this interest rate was good. But right now in this high interest rate environment, Fraser Green Bond gave 4.49%. This was issued last year in 2022. So this is what my bonds portfolio makes up of, a total of $16,000 invested into the various Singapore bonds. And thereafter, there is also the index fund. I'm invested into the S&P 500, of which I just want a dollar cost average my way in, accumulate and hold for the long run. I started my investment journey investing into the S&P 500, the ticker symbol VOO. I do have a video that I'll link up above and also down in the description box below how I got started my investment journey into the S&P 500, why it's not too late for you as well. Mumu Singapore is a great platform to kickstart your investment journey with their new feature of fractional trading. You can now buy fractional shares of the S&P 500. The S&P 500 index fund is currently priced around this range. You don't have to buy one entire share. With fractional trading, you can buy a fraction of it. Anywhere above USD $5, you can invest into the S&P 500, which is great for people who just started working. You just drew a salary from your first full-time job and you want to kickstart your investment journey. With fractional shares that Mumu is currently offering you, low fees, no commissions for the US stock market, you can kickstart your investment journey into the S&P 500 today. So more details down in the description box below as well. For the S&P 500, I currently hold roughly about $5,400. And for real estate investment trusts, REITs in Singapore stock market, I'm building up a passive income portfolio based on the dividends that the REITs I'm holding is giving. This is what I intentionally want to build so that down the road in the near future, when I'm in my 40s and 50s, I'll be able to accumulate a passive income that comes from these dividends that pays out from the Real Estate Investment Trust. Coming up on the channel, I'll share with you a little bit more about how you can also DIY your REITs portfolio, share with you a bit more and break down to you what REITs have I invested into and why have I invested this way. So 
that is coming up on the channel. For REITs portfolio, I'm also using Momo Singapore to invest into because Momo is giving you one year free commissions trade in the Singapore stock market. And I don't think any other platform is offering that. Other platforms for you to trade into the Singapore stock market, you do have to pay a fee of roughly two over dollars. But right now with the one year free commissions trade offered on Momo's platform for new users, the fees that you have to pay is roughly a dollar each only. So more details down in the description box below as well. For REITs, I currently hold $16,000 worth of Singapore REITs. And lastly, I have also invested into the Singapore Bank, $8,600 worth of it, of which I'm slowly accumulating as well. So this is how the entire $100,000 is allocated and also invested into the various instruments. At the end of the day, this is not financial advice. With whatever that you are going into, please do your own research as well. This is just how I've allocated my money to make my money work for me. This is how I've allocated my 100,000 after reaching it at the age of 27 years old. Momo Singapore is a one-stop platform for those of you who don't want to hold so many accounts. Momo offers you one place where you can trade all the different instruments that I've mentioned and it's also my choice because of the low fees that comes along with it. The sign-up gift for new users in the month of October offers you up to $750 in sign-up rewards. Earlier I mentioned how you can fulfill that. More details down in the description box below. For those of you who were affected by TD Ameritrade recently, after them moving out of Singapore. Mumu Singapore is also offering a transfer in promotion of which I'll leave it down in the description box below for your reference as well. So this is all I have for today's video, how I've allocated my 100,000 after attaining it at the age of 27 years old. Follow along on this journey where I'll continuously share about how I'm optimizing my money and how you guys can also do the same for yourself as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's anything you'd like to share, leave it down in the comment section below. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.